Hey everybody, this is Armita Cancer Free 200, and I am home from Vegas. Yay! I loved Vegas, but I was ready to come home. I was ready to come home. Um, I flew in yesterday. Um, I left Angie's yesterday morning in Albuquerque, and arrived in Midland about 5:30. Um, which the plane was on time, so I was happy with that. But my husband was a half an hour late because there was a fire, and they wouldn't let him through. So he was a half an hour late. He got there at 6 to pick me up, and uh, I had to go take my my son uh, some stuff. That I was able to drop it off where he was at. And then um, when we were coming home, we got to the same area where they had the brush fire, and they had closed the road. So we had to do a detour. So we didn't get home till about 9.30 last night, so I was pooped, tired. Um, but it was great to come home. My, I didn't get to see my kiddos last night. I... Um, I don't even know if they knew I was coming home yesterday. I'm not sure. But um, I woke my grandson up, and he barely opened his eyes, and he just reached his arms out to me. He was like, Grandma, and he just hugged me. And my granddaughter did the same thing. It was so sweet. So sweet. So today I haven't done much because I uh, was on uh, still on uh, Vegas time. But uh, I did my regular cleaning and all that. But, you know, I weighed myself. I was kind of nervous. I weighed myself at Angie's before I left, but it was a different scale, and I wasn't sure. And, and actually, at Angie's, I said I had lost two pounds. And uh, that was on Monday. I weighed myself. And then um, I came home today, and I weighed myself. And when I left on Thursday, I weighed myself. And I was 116. And today, I'm 113. Don't ask me how I lost three pounds. I don't know. I ate. We shared food. We ate. I uh, I, I just understand. The only thing I can think of is that, you know, in Vegas they had those little escalators that go up where you could walk up. Well, me and my friend Julie were running up the stairs and running down the stairs. So um, when we uh, walked all the way to the MG, MGM, we did that the whole way. And um, that's the only thing I could think of because I did eat. I even had some drinks. I had beef jerky because, you know, we didn't really have our protein. But I don't know. Hopefully, um, now that I'm home, I'll gain a few pounds because... I really did not want to lose anything. So I don't think I'm going to gain a few pounds by tomorrow, but we'll see. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I bought at the secondhand store at Angie's. It's nothing spectacular, nothing. Um, I bought me a pair of gray pants. It's gray um, jeans because I didn't have any. And hold on. I bought me, you know, the little half length pants, whatever they're called, like capris. And they're actually a size 5'6". And I bought these ones, which was a size, same size, I think. Uh, and they all, these are size fives. And they're the same. They were cute. I think they were like $4.99. Except for the gray jeans were $5.99. And some camouflage, same thing, mid-length there. And these are the same size, size fives. I bought the, one, a long skirt, just kind of cool for the summertime. You see it? The only thing is, it is see-through, and it goes all the way to my feet, and it'll be cute with a pair of, with the tank top and a pair of um, sandals. And I've been wanting one because if they're just nice and cool, they're very soft. I bought this shirt. Now, if you can read it, it says, Grandma, like Mom, but with no rules. Can you see it? Like Mom, but with no rules. And because I am Grandma and Mom, I liked it. It was white, and we threw it all together with some of Angie's stuff, and they came out blue. So, oh well. And I bought this shirt, which is kind of cute, just a tan shirt, and this shirt, which I love. And these are, I don't even know, Charlotte Russ, whatever that is. But it's very cool, very sweet, got a little tie. I fell in love with this one. So that's all I bought. I think I spent 40, 40 something dollars, not much. Um, just gonna try to move them over. Uh, I think that was it. Uh, I think it was all I bought. I feel like I'm missing something, but no. Oh, and I bought a suitcase because I didn't have enough room in my suitcase to um, pack it all, plus the stuff they gave me at the meet and greet. So um, I wish I lived there. I would do some more shopping. Um, I was kind of surprised that the size spice fit me, but... Um, and they are a little snug, but for four ninety nine or whatever, I couldn't resist them. I'll give them to my granddaughters if I ever outgrow them or get, you know, bigger. Uh, excuse my hair, it's, I just washed it and it's all wacko. So anyways, that is it. Like I said, I'm just happy to be home. My kiddos were happy to have me home. Back into the routine. 
um, you know, I had to get up and get them ready for school and get them dressed. And, uh, so it's going to take a while to get back into it. But um, I just wanted y'all to know that I really enjoyed meeting everybody. I loved meeting everybody. I wish I would have met more people. But next year, I'm already planning. I told my husband already, gave him his heads up. I'm going back next year. I'm going to have a big Culligan water jar thing, and I'm going to put all my change in it, all his change in it, and hopefully that's going to pay my way. But um, next year, I will mingle a little bit more. Um, and uh, maybe, maybe I think um, if I would comment on more videos, um, I would put myself out there a little bit more and more people would have known who I am. I'm kind of funny about walking up to people and just introducing myself. But if I know you, then I'm loud and crazy. But if I don't, you know, I'm kind of, kind of funny like that. So hopefully I'm, I'm going to just start commenting on everybody's videos that I watch. And even if it's just a little comment and put myself out there so they'll know who I am when I walk up to them. So anyways, that's it. I just want to let y'all know that I made it home safely. And it was crazy on the plane. It was bumpy. The plane was actually going sideways like this and bumping. And I met a lady on there. And actually, I met her while we were in line. And um, she had said something about me being sick. She said that she told her friend, I was late to one of my planes. I almost missed it. And she had said about, oh, it's squeeze your skinny ass in here or something like that. And I was like, well, a couple a year ago, I wouldn't have, you know, I wasn't so skinny, I was telling her. And, and um, she said that she had saw me standing there and she told her friend, man, if I was skinny like her and I would cut my hair just look just like her. She, she said, look how cute she is. That is a pretty woman, you know. And it kind of made me feel good to, to hear that, you know, from a total stranger to, that, um, that I was skinny and that I looked good because I hear so often that I'm too skinny. So, um, anyways, that is it. Um, I'm glad to be home and I will make, I'm not going to make a video. It's tomorrow's Thursday. This is going to be my weigh in thingy. So I will see y'all next week. Hopefully I've gained a few pounds, but, um, that is it. Peace out, peace out guys. You guys have a good weekend.